to the Average Guy Gourmet. I'm Tony Rican, and today I'm going to be making BLT burgers with candied bacon and bacon mayo. I mean, it is a gorgeous summer day here in Chicago. I can't lie. It's a miserable January day, and I've dragged my grill from my patio, put it in my garage. I just feel like burgers. So we're going to go ahead, like I said, BLT burgers, candied bacon, and bacon mayo. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start with the candied bacon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my uh, brown sugar. For the amounts, make sure to go ahead and look in the description below the video. and It'll give you all the amounts that we're mixing together. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take my brown sugar. And then I have some cayenne and cinnamon. Go ahead and put those together. Just take a little fork, mix these up real quick. Make sure you get it nice and mixed. You don't want uh, to get all cayenne in one piece of bacon and all brown sugar on another. So we're going to get this all mixed together nicely. Then what I have over here is I have my bacon laid out on a nice wire rack ready for the oven. So I'm going to take my mix that I have here. I'm going to go ahead and use about half of it to put across my bacon. What I've done is I've gone ahead and I've uh, preheated the oven to 350 degrees and after I coat this nicely I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven for 10 minutes. After it cooks for 10 minutes pull it out, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to use the other half of my mixture for the other side of the bacon and cook that for another 10 minutes. Now I'm doing, uh, what I did here is I sliced each piece of bacon in half I'm using one slice of bacon per burger, so uh, you know you can put two halves on each one. You can make more if you want. You can make less if you want. The, the amounts in the description below is for what I have here: four burgers, so four slices of bacon. Um, so go ahead, feel free, make more, make less if you want more or less bacon. If you want it to be a little bit stronger flavor, a little bit weaker flavor. So there you have it. I have all my bacon coated. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven for 10 minutes now. Okay, we're getting ready to make the bacon mayo, and I have a little helper who came by and said she wanted to help me mix things together. I want to introduce everybody to my daughter, Maddie. Maddie, wave and say hi to everybody. Go ahead, wave and say hi. No, you're not going to wave and hi, say hi. You're going to help me with this, <laughs> this bacon mayo. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start. Again, we uh, all the amounts for the ingredients are below the video in the description. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, with the mayo. I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm going to take the sour cream, put that in there. What are you going to throw in, Maddie? Okay, so why don't you grab the bacon? And go ahead and put the just dump the bacon in. There you go. Now grab the chives. Dump that in. Now I'm going to mix this all together, okay? okay. So I'm going to take this mixture, our um, sour cream, mayo, bacon, and chives. Why are you sneaking little tastes of the bacon? <laughs> Anyways. When you mix this all together, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and cover it and put it in the fridge until you're ready to use this. Um, this is good for about a day, so if you want to make this in advance, you can. If you want to make it while you have everything in the oven, while you're grilling the burgers, that's fine. Uh, but that's it. That's as easy as it is to make the bacon mayo. Now we're going to go ahead and make the burger patties. This one is going to be a very basic burger patty. We want to let the uh, that candy bacon and that bacon mayo and everything else will be the star of this. This is going to be just a lightly seasoned burger patty. I've gone ahead and I've formed four patties already out of my uh, my ground beef. And all we're going to do is we're going to salt and pepper them lightly on each side. Which one do you want to do, salt or pepper? You want to do the salt? You want to do both? Okay, go ahead and grab one and let's go ahead and get this done. Do you know how to do that one? Here, hold it up high like this. Here you go. You ready? There you go. 
I like that. I do a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and make a little bit of a mess. Right? A little mess is okay. Go ahead. Do the salt. Okay. Let me finish it. You did one. Let me finish them. Hey, now. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in each one. I'm going to flip them over and do the other sides. I'll do three and you do one. Sound good? What? You're going to do two? And I'm going to do two? Okay. <laughs> Her hand signals there. I'll do these two. There we go. And you go ahead and do yours. Try that. Okay. And I'll give you the salt. Hang on here. There you go. Go ahead now. Go ahead and salt that up. That one's yours, by the way. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw these on the grill, and we'll be right back when these are done to go ahead and put everything together and show you how great this looks. Okay, I've gone ahead and, uh, and grilled the burgers the way I like them, so go ahead and grill them however you want, whatever cheese you want on them. Um, as you can see, my little partner left me, so I'm going to go ahead and build the burger on my own. So today I'm using a pretzel bun. Um, this is great with regular buns. You can use uh, Texas toast, works really well on this one, or as I'm doing, pretzel buns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just take some of my uh, bacon mayo that I made earlier. Get a good amount on this on here. Go ahead and coat the bottom of that. Yeah. Go ahead and take our burger. Someone's texting me. They want food. I'm going to go ahead and take my burger. I've already got a couple pieces of candied bacon laid out. And then go ahead and take a little bit of lettuce and tomato. Get that on there. And that's it. You're done. Whatever toppings you want, mayo, mustard, anything. I mean, it's good like this. It's a flavorful burger. Um, it's not dry. It's very moist, so that way you don't. You're not going to need a lot of ketchup and mayo. But dress it however you want, and we'll see you guys next time.